massive ghost face here this week to introduce the stellar cast. Take it away, ghost face. Please welcome Dylan Manette, Mason Gooding, Jasmine Savoy Brown, Mikey Madison, and Sonia Amar. I'm just so excited to meet all of you guys in um, Zoom person. <laughs> um, to and we're all dying to know who Ghostface is, and it's so secret that, is it true, none of you knew during the filming, Sonia? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they gave us different scripts and different versions with different endings, so it kind of kept this whodunit fun game off screen for us, uh, which was a really fun experience. Yeah. Um, Mason, is it true that you wrote an essay about Scream and you sent it to the directors after your audition? What was that about? That, listen, when you do something in college, you obviously operate under the assumption that that'll remain in that uh, atmosphere. Didn't think I'd have to necessarily answer for it five years later. But, um, yes, I wrote an essay about the uh, potential for revival in the Scream franchise and how, um, in this current uh, media landscape, it would actually be incredibly appropriate. But um, I figured it was appropriate uh, to send their way uh, I guess it, it either helped in some way or they were like, well, I guess he sent that essay. But other than that, he seemed fine. We'll take the rest in stride. I also want to uh, like ask you a quick uh, parent advice because your father is Cuba Gooding Jr. I mean, hello. And I, I liked that he, as I want to do with my kids, whenever they talk about an interest in the business, I'm like, just be of a developed mind before you go out into that big world. That's right. Well, first and foremost, he asked if I could do anything else, uh, maybe a sport or a um, vocation that didn't involve so much mass rejection, but once it seemed like a more viable option, something I truly wanted to do, uh, I think the discussion was about how to do it authentically and how to do it when uh, I was ready and mature enough in a way to let any perception, both social, public, or personal, to be when I was uh, both ready to mentally kind of handle it and process it. Well, it makes me happy to know that that's the rules I have for my kids. And um, because I care so much about their psychology, which leads me to a question for Mikey, because your parents are psychologists. And what did they talk to you about doing a film like this, whether it was like what this does to society, how should you play a character like the one you're playing? I'm not giving anything away, but boy, what a resource. Tell me everything you can. Uh, yeah, well, both my parents are clinical psychologists, so um, growing up, I think they were always psychoanalyzing me just a little bit. But I think that also gave me a different understanding to characters, like why they do things, and I um, do have this sort of like different understanding of, of characters and sort of like the psychology that goes on behind that. I love that. Um, one of my favorite people on planet Earth who I've literally known my whole life is David Arquette. And Jasmine, David came on the show and he was talking about, um, he had taken this Bob Ross course on how to teach painting and yeah. he taught you painting? Yeah, he decided to buy all of us a Bob Ross painting kit and teach us how to paint in the style of Bob Ross. We spent a whole day he was our teacher. He took us through all the steps and then bought a ton more canvases so we could go down to the conference room that we had rented out and do it whenever we want. Um, okay, Dylan, this movie uh, plays homage to the original. Is there any callbacks that we should, like, look out for? Um, I mean, I feel like... Uh... The Easter eggs and the uh, homages are all over the place, um, even down to the clip that you played just before you were um, speaking to us. Like I, I sort of um, 
consider this a spoiler in my head, but now that it's been on television and we're talking about it, um, Mikey and I are sharing a bag of grapes. And uh, in the initial scene um, at the high school in the original Scream, they're also eating a bag of grapes in that scene, uh, the original uh, team cast and things like that are all over the place. And I feel like this, this movie um, is a perfect meta takedown of the genre and a love letter to the genre, just like the original was. I think they captured it very well in this. So. Very, very well said, Dylan. Um, okay, Jasmine, I heard that um, you sang karaoke um, with Courtney Cox. Um, <laughs> yeah. Give us a little yeah. fly on the wall moment. Who sang what? Okay. Sonia sang La Vie en Rose, and it was the most beautiful version I've ever heard in my life. And that's really all I can remember because it just knocked everybody out of the water. So well, an amazing singer. Dylan is obviously, I sing. This is a talented cast. I know the three of you do music and you can see the proof I have right here um, for Sonia was, I know that you're a karaoke-er. So I wanted to ask you, what's your go-to karaoke song? Oh, that's, yeah, I love karaoke. I've literally been singing karaoke since I'm, I don't know, six years old. I remember that was like on a computer and... My favorite song to sing, um, like I Will Survive or... That is not yeah. an easy song to sing, I Will Survive. <laughs> Just I, like a big fun song that everyone can sing along to, you know? 